Hi, I'm Nana Gill and I want to be a superhero! And this week the superpower that I'm trying to get is the power of time. So yesterday I made a sundial so that we could tell when I was allowed my next cookie by the sun. I only discovered a wee problem though. The sun went behind the clouds, which meant there was no shadow, which meant no cookie. So let's just say I found this outcome highly unacceptable. So we need another way to keep time if we're going to understand it and then control it. And then I can save the world and have cookies whenever I want. A superhero can't save the world on an empty stomach, you know. So if the sun didn't work, maybe we can try the moon. Okay, so what do we know about the moon? The moon orbits the Earth once every 28 days, so it will look the same shape in the sky every 28th night. This means that we can predict what shape the moon will be tonight if we know what it was like last night. Before we had clocks, people used to use the moon as a type of calendar. By counting how many full moons had passed, this meant that they could make really accurate predictions about how much time had passed and whether it was a good time to do something like harvest food or prepare for winter. The moon doesn't actually make its own light. We can only see the moon because it reflects light from the sun. Did you know that when we look at the moon, we always see the same side? Even though the Earth spins, we always see the same side of the moon because that side is always facing the sun and so always reflecting the light. I'd love to have the superpower to predict the future, so I think that I need to make my own lunar phase model. For this experiment, you will need a sheet of scrap paper, a couple of sheets of foil, a stick, and ta -da! a lump. So start by scrunching up the scrap paper into a ball. And then roll on top of that your sheets of foil one at a time. There's one. There's the other one. Okay, now you want to roll this onto something hard to try and make the surface smooth. Next, mount the foil ball onto your stick. Here you go, this is your moon. Next, what you're gonna do is turn on your light source and stand between it and your moon ball. Make sure that your head doesn't create a shadow on the moon by holding the moon higher than your head. The light is going to be your sun, you are the earth, and this is the moon. Time for the moment of truth. I, Nano Girl, will use this lunar model to predict what the moon will look like in the future. Hey, Nano Nano Girl, come over here and join me. I'm just gonna put you there so you can see. Okay, you need to turn off the lights and turn on your lamp. And you shouldn't be able to see, if you stand between the lamp and the moon, then the moon is fully lit by the reflection of the light behind you. Your moon should look light and shiny. If this was the position of the moon, the sun and the earth, we on earth would see this as a full moon because the half that we can see is bright. Mmm, full moon. That reminds me of a full cookie. Anyway, okay, so now what you want to do is rotate around a bit until you start to see a dark shadow on the side of the moon. Ah, oh, there it is, right here. If we saw this shape on earth, we would call this a waning gibbous. It's a bit like somebody has nibbled the side off a cookie. Keep going around until half of the moon is dark and half is light. On Earth, we would call this a quarter moon. And finally, you're gonna go all the way around until it looks totally dark. And this position is what we will call a new moon. It's actually where the half of the moon that we can't see is lit and the half that we can see is not lit. So usually you can't see the moon in the sky here. Uh-oh, does that mean no cookie? Oh, panic, lights off, okay. Oh, where's my cookie? Where's my cookie? It's okay, my cookie is still here. Now you could keep a moon diary by observing which moon shape that you can see every night and matching it to the experiment that you're doing with your pretend moon and your lamp to see if you can match at home what's going on in the sky. I'll see you all again tomorrow for more superhero science, but if you'll excuse me, it's time for me to eat my cookie. Bye.